Hello guys, this is Detail and welcome back to, well, another Minecraft series. We are bringing back the Minecraft survival, single player survival once again. But we are completely restarting. Now, I have a seed already entered in for the world generator, but when we load in you should hopefully notice the world because we have used it before, I think, if I have entered the seed correctly. But yeah guys, I wanted to do another single plus survival basically because I want to be able to do things when, say for example, the Minecraft servers are down. And well yeah, I just want my own world to do things and I don't need to check with anyone else to see if anything's okay. But yeah, let's just create this world, get it loaded up. So yeah guys, it's been maybe about, say... Well, it'll be more than eight months now since we last done a single player. And yes, this is it. This map we used in our last survival playthrough. We only done about nine episodes or something, I don't know. And we had a base over there and then another one over there. So let me just take down the coordinates and we'll yes, the usual start punching wood. So my main aim for this series is I want to well explore the new features of Minecraft. We are currently running Minecraft 1.10.2 and I'm recording this the day after Minecon 2016. I did not go but I watched the live streams and stuff. So I know about the new features which are coming to map 1.11 which I must say they are very very impressive. But yeah I will probably be doing a update video on it which will be coming out in the near future because I don't know when I'm uploading this probably the day after I record it. So yeah. Anyways what I want to do is I want to have a main base and I want to have other bases around the world which specialise in different areas. So for example mining, automisation, um, crop farming, mob farming and well our first base will be our main base, which is for the surrounding area we're going to keep it nature related, so it's going to be a nature heavy build, so a lot of terraforming and all of that stuff. And well eventually this area will become well better looking, let's just say that. And we'll probably put our iron farms and stuff here as well, because we are currently in the spawn chunks. I am using the faithful Texture pack, resource pack, whatever you want to call it, as always, because well, I like that pack and I use it for everything. So, yeah, that's to be expected, really. But yeah, I am actually, I've been looking forward to this. I need to design thumbnails and stuff, which I'll probably do soon. I don't know if this video will have a thumbnail by the time it's uploaded, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but if you want this, if you have any ideas for thumbnails, please let me know, but I have a few ideas in the pipeline currently, so we should be okay with that. Also, I'll be using this so that I can take a break from my Let's Build series, because it does take quite a bit of work to do, and if we go this normal, okay, right, um... I'm just trying to think what we need to do. Also, for the first episode, we're not going to make any cuts or anything. This is all going to be done in one recording session because, well, I want to get this kind of really fast because, well, yeah, I want you guys to, well, see that I'm back in the business of doing single player stuff. Also, my main reason for that is so that I don't get any lag or anything. Now, I am currently playing with my render distance on 16 chunks and you can see my frame rate is going through the roof even though that won't come through in the recording because I lock it at 60 fps but yeah you can see that my world is really good I have allocated 8 gigabytes of RAM which is probably why it's running like this but yeah I am um, I think I think this is going to be awesome watch what we have planned because I just really want to get in, build a new type of base, do some terraforming and have some fun exploring some different areas of the game. Because I don't really get much opportunity to do that. 
But don't worry, we will be replacing any other Minecraft series we have on the channel. We have the Let's Ball series, which is not going anywhere. Vulture SMP series, which is being produced very, very slowly. I mean produced, I don't even know why I said that. Because the server is kind of inactive and I would like to play with other members, but yeah, everyone's been kind of busy, but I think people will be, some people will be coming back for this new update because of some new interesting features. But yeah, so that isn't going anywhere whatsoever, so don't worry. Even though I haven't released one of those episodes in quite some time. But yeah, so this series is going to be quite laid back in terms of episode releases and stuff. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to fit this into my schedule whatsoever, so expect this when I make it. That's the kind of attitude to have with this. Because, well, yes, everyone, my schedule that I made, I have it so that everyone, you should expect this, this series at this time on this date. Because, well, people want to see certain things. And I can take the FD screen off now. Also, this is the second recording that I've been able to record on full screen again. This is the first time in quite a few months since I've been able to do that, which is quite quite good. I'll probably mute my mic back and forward to clear my throat because yes, my cold that I had, yes I don't have it anymore but I'm still left with a sore throat, which you will probably be able to tell. But yeah, I am thinking about where should we actually put our base because we haven't actually what was I going to make there? An axe would be a good idea, yes, for getting rid of this. Yes, so we've got a wide expanse, wide expanse of area which we're going to be using for many projects such as milestone things and some terraforming practice and some future projects. But I would like to live in a forest. Now, if we take a little walk over and don't worry about the food we'll do with this shortly yes yes I, I remember this right so in our last let's play what we were planning to do was we we had a base here and then a few hundred blocks that way maybe about 250 blocks or so we had this big hole in the ground which I said that I dug that out which in fact I actually didn't that was I done that using commands, which, yeah, sometimes I do that because I get lazy. That is not going to happen here, I promise you. But yeah, we need, I want to try and make this base look good and finish it. So yeah, it was down here, I believe, yes. We cut down all these trees here and we had a little automatic sugarcane farm there. Yes, I remember that island. Yes, I want to try and keep this area the way it is. But saying that, no, because we I want to completely terraform it all and make it look nice. Because you have that island there and... Yeah, this is completely reminding me of when we actually done the survival in the first place. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Of course it is. It had to... It always does. But yeah... We're going to have the base around here, kind of, and I can't sprint anymore. And I guess I should probably make a sword so we can slay some animals. But I am guessing, actually, that we should have the base in the hill. Which would probably be a good idea, because then we've got direct access to the plains where we can do our work. Yes, that's a good idea. Just so that it's slightly different from what we had been doing previously and the last kind of survival thing we'd been doing. Anyways, we can terraform this hill, get rid of it, and then we can do it over there and make some bridges, which I think would look pretty good. So let's get a sword in so we can make some, well, kill some animals because I need food. And what to start with, we'll just kill everything. Yes, that's a good idea. 
So basically our base here will be underground partially, even though we're doing a lot of work in the exteriors out here. But yeah, it'll be all underground because I'm horrible at making buildings. Which you wouldn't think that because I do the Let's Go series well, in fact, in reality I'm horrible at making buildings. Interiors I can do, exteriors not so much. And also there's a village over there, so we can make some, do some villager trading and well, you'll probably set up a breeder and do some of that stuff eventually. Also in the spawn chunks as well. So if you're liking the sounds of everything I've said so far, please make sure to hit that like button because, well, yeah, it does help, but it also shows that you guys do in fact want to see a series like this, which, to be honest, I hope you do because I've been looking forward to making this for some time. Also, a few of the comments in my Let's Build series, I want to address one of them in particular. They said the person who commented said, you have a soothing voice. Now I, I agree, but there's something you must know. In that voice you hear, there's some slight editing because of the background noise and little noises like that, which you may or may not have heard. Yes, I do a lot of editing with my audio and we need to eat something or else we're going to starve, which is not a good idea in your first day. But yes, we should have done this straight away, getting materials to make a bed, because I really can't be bothered with dealing with mobs. Okay, right, where is our island thing? It is over here, right. So yeah, I guess we, we should set up a temporary base of sorts on this island, and get our resources together. It will be a slow start, but that is to be expected with a series like this. So don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Also with this it means we're going to be able to progress through the game a lot faster, so I'll be able to do projects in the end, work with the weather, because in for example the Vulture SMP series I haven't done any of that because I'm waiting for other members to do things. Die zombie. See, we're getting achievements pretty fast. Right, so what do we need? We need a... Uh, what do you call it? A furnace, yes. I, for my base, I'm going to try and go for a different theme. Well, of course, we're going to be doing nature, but I want to separate a series from the Vulture SCP one by doing different themes, just so that you don't ha you as a viewer don't get bored because I've had that with some of my other series but yeah since we've got a lot more subscribers now last time when I attempted to do this series we had only 140 of you now we have more than 420 we are well on our way to that 500 subscribers goal which I'm very very happy about now what we're going to be doing for our milestones as well around for since this base is going to be focused on nature well it's our main base and it's going to be nature like because i don't want to go the industrial route we are going to be working a lot in the plains so what i was thinking of was making some mounds similar to the like burial mounds and well the, we may or may not have them open at the top and what we do is we have certain things we put in there, so say very good tools, elytra, uh, potions, our best um, stuff when we reach that goal we would put them in those mounds and seal them off. But we're not completely to have access to them but they'd be like very important objects say maybe say if you are religious and you had something like a religious text that would be sacred to you we're going to be doing something like that but for subscribe well our milestone 
also, um, I don't, I really don't want to do this. I was thinking of doing a room for everyone, where we can kind of put everyone's name to say, like, if they're a subscriber, like, put them down. I'm not going to do that because it would take a lot of work and you, people unsubscribe and you need to constantly check, so there's no point in having that. So instead, what I've thought about doing is we make this redstone thing and basically it counts like you you'd input things so you'd press a button it would count up one and so you do that for the number of subscribers you have you have a button to count up button to count down the counting down is a little bit harder but i don't know how well that's going to work i was also thinking of having a counting system so that we can we can have it for episodes, so just so we can keep track and we'd have it in a main part of the base, say in the nether hub when we eventually make it because you would quite possibly pass through there a lot. So yeah, that is quite a few ideas that I have, which yeah, as you can probably tell they're coming flying off the top of my head because well, I have got so many ideas for this. We're also going to be doing a lot of fun projects as well, so maybe some silly redstone projects and um, things that will spice up the base. I don't know, you guys send me suggestions. Because yeah, I want, I want everyone's input in this because, well, after all I am providing entertainment for you guys, but I don't want to constantly feed it to you and you have no input as if I am saying right you're getting this and you have no word in it. No, I want suggestions for things to make, funny little projects to do. So yeah, we're also going to be doing a lot of very very big major projects which will not be finished in one episode or two or three. They can take months to finish. Say for example, great tunnels in the nether, the nether hub, well I could probably finish that quickly, the base itself and of course since we're going to have all the other bases, the ones are, which have a main focus, we're also going to have bases for like say in the stronghold, there's going to be a base there for the, what do you call it, the end portal, we're also going to have, not really a base but we're going to have like parts in the end where we do things such as an enderman farm. Now there's multiple designs and I'll probably make my own in the process but yeah <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun but I guess we should actually farm those kills over there because I'm not currently doing anything and we can get more spawned. I spotted this last time the grass and the rivers. I don't know why it does that but of course it dies fast. Just something that happens really. But yeah, um, if you like the sounds of everything I have said so far, even if it's something something insignificant, please give me feedback on it. Because, well, I thought it fell there. <laughs> because, well, after all, I'm doing this for you guys and you guys will have input in what we are doing. I may eventually open, once we get a little bit larger, what I'm thinking about doing for, instead of doing a subscriber haul, doing, say, for example, only after we get a few thousand subscribers, if not more, a uh, Patreon, so that, well, we all know how Patreon works, but I'm really staying away from that, because because when you're a low, when you're a small YouTuber like myself, that that scares people away, and I really don't like it when creators of my size or sm small do it because I don't know. There's some sort of stigma behind it, which I really don't like. 
also another thing which I'm not good at with when it comes to the game because well I said I'm not good at building houses I'm not good at making custom trees so yes we'll be practicing a lot of that we're also going to be doing a lot of grinding when it comes to say breeding the best horse or getting the best villagers because we're going to be doing a lot of villager trading to get emeralds because I love building with emeralds because it looks so good I'm also thinking about say creating a room doesn't matter where it is It'll probably be in our mining base where we have piles upon piles of resources so say iron, gold, diamonds. I wouldn't say redstone or lapis or coal because yeah but there'd be decoration blocks you wouldn't actually use them so that would probably be a later on game once we have endless amounts of those resources which have iron farms, gold farms, everything. Operational that is. Now, how long have we been recording for actually? Oh, that would be about 22 minutes. Or close enough to it, maybe? 21 minutes. No, 22. Okay, well, guys, that is it for this first episode. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And yes, I still have that derby bit in my skin, which I am not going to fix. That will stay forever. So, as always, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you guys next time.